Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! Hit that subscribe button. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of the tenants. Last episode, we lost our tenant of our first property. This episode, we're going to be focusing on renovating the apartment at Boring Lane and have an open house to try to get a new tenant in. So let's dive in. Here we are at Boring Lane, and we really need to get a, a new tenant in here. So I think we're going to get a better quality tenant if we're able to fix up this place. So we have 19,000. We need to increase our cash flow in order to move into the new district, but the only way we're going to do that is to get better tenants. I think we're going to put a real cooker in this time. I also think we're going to put in a better floor. This floor was $35, so let's put in the oak panel floor. Let's fix the walls. Okay, so the wall we had there was a $30. I remember we went for the cheap last time. Okay, so we could go for a different color. We could try purple in here. Oh, purple's not horrible. $5 more than we spent last time. Oh, let's sell this. Sell the microwave. And I'm going to sell this counter. I'm going to sell that. Sell this as well. I'm going to get us a cooker. Cooker there. This lamp corner. But we need a refrigerator. Now that refrigerator, I sold it because it depreciated. Refrigerator here. It'll act as a partition. I'm going to put in a better counter. Okay, top two tenant to renegotiate our lease. I'm going to come back and continue our renovation. I want to negotiate a lease extension with Gloria here. I'm going to try for 60 days. I'm going to try to get a little bit more from her. 4,770. 4,426 down a tiny bit. I'll come to about 4,540. I'm going to make this offer. And she says 4,398. Yeah, I'll accept that. Thank you. You are wonderful. Let's go back to our property at Boring Lane and continue to try to renovate this. We're in the we're in the kitchen -y area. Put the refrigerator right here and I'll put the cooker here. Regular counter in counter there. Can I move this cooker? Excellent. I can move the cooker there. The sink right here. We have a proper kitchen now. I'm going to put the refrigerator over here. And I'm going to put the box, the fuse box here. That was a misused corner. So now we have, so that's really not blocking anything. That's not a problem. Can we put in new doors? Because this door is sort of bad. This toilet door in. Yes. This Okay, so we have some proper doors. Granted, they're a little bit country. I give them a tiny little table, and I will give them a tiny little chair. Yeah, they can watch the TV while they're there. Do that too. Oh, that blocks the refrigerator. So can I do it there? It blocks the stove. Can I move this here? There we go. This here. So I can have two people in here. I should probably give them some sort of couch unit. Okay, so I'm going to give them a new blue couch. I was able to keep the lamp. I'm going to give it. I'm going to put a double bed in here instead of a single bed. Okay, Gloria Weeks, what's up? Okay, I'll put the double bed over here. I don't like those curtains. Can I do something with those curtains? I'm going to sell those curtains. Move this chest of drawers over here. I'll give them a little end tabley thing. That's a cabinet. Put the cabinet there. Give them a little lamp. Sell this lamp. chest of drawers. Okay, I'm going to give them a desk in here. I will put this chest of drawers here. I will give them a basic desk. Give them a laptop computer. Basic desk chair. I'm not loving this. Oh, I have a better idea. We'll do this Maisie bookcase and I'll give them a better television and throw some DVDs in there and a DVD player. I'm going to give them a pigeon shower stall because last time they had, there was no facility in here to take a shower. I will give them a toilet brush. I know I've gone through some considerable cash, but in order to get some tenants in here that might be better than the last one, I'm willing to spend a little bit. I should probably give them some sort of artwork in here because there's just like no artwork. Put a rug here. We'll do dream big. Do some sort of artwork in the kitchen. Do flowers in the kitchen. There we go. Electric teapot. 
I'll give them a range hood so they're not smoking up my apartment. Actually, I'll put this hood here. give them a wall speaker so they can have like stereo sound and I believe I was looking for some sort of lamp for the wall in here. I don't think I gave them a lamp in the bathroom last time. This basic lamp in the bathroom. I know we have a lamp there but I put another lamp in the kitchen right there. So I should probably put some more plants in here because everything is better with plants. Okay I'm gonna give them a plant. I'd like to put a plant in here, but it, it seems like we're not going to be able to get a plant in here. I'll put this pyramid painting here. And I believe I said I was going to put that dream big. Yeah, I'll put this dream big right here. Probably one more item. And then I think I'm going to have our open house. I really want a plant. I'll put a plant on the table. Give him some green curtains. Give him some fancy green curtains. There we go. Okay, so I really wanted a plant in, in this room, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Looks to me like we're ready. So let's begin our open house. And this time I'm going to invest in some newspapers. Maybe that'll get us some better people in here. Okay, so we have this lady. Let's do a background check on this lady, Eva Pham. And I want to do her tenancy check. Okay, she has debt. Um, I don't want her here. Ask her to leave. Yeah, let me talk to this individual, do a background check. That one also has debt. Check your tenancies. Check this guy over here. Debt the buck. Okay, she was an excellent tenant though, even though she has debt. Well, let me negotiate for her. She likes the apartment. I'm gonna ask for that. I'm gonna ask for four thousand two hundred and fifty-two dollars. I'm gonna make her an offer. Go to five thousand. Make an offer for 60 days. Okay, so she's good with $4,431. I'm gonna accept that. Excellent, we got Smitty, his tenant, back on Boring Lane. Deborah Buck, good day, Smitty. I hope this message finds you well. Thanks once again for this opportunity. I moved in and it's looking great. So we now have $3,935 cash flow. We need to step up our game, take maybe take another job. So I'm looking for big money, little, little work. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to design an apartment for college kids with multiple bedrooms. Uh, it's a intermediate job, but it's $3,350. So let's accept that. And let's go on over to the renovation. Here we are at Lost Creek Road 14C. Let's have Uncle Steve go in there and try to repair this grand piano. Okay, I'm adding this to our player storage. Uncle Steve doesn't have to do anything else, so we can start renovating. Right now, we have to focus on the decor and the walls. They don't really care about the furnishings, but we are doing a renovation for college kids. One, two, three bedrooms and a bathroom. We'll put the bathroom here. So what do we need in the bathroom? Bathroom we need, well, concrete floors. Do we have concrete floors? Concrete floors are down, so we don't need that. We need red walls. They want us to focus on the walls. Do this wallpaper in the bathroom with the concrete floors. Okay, so we need a shower cabin. We'll do that first. We'll do the shower cabin in this corner here. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna focus on the bedrooms, but they really don't care about the toilet. Oh, earthquake. Our tenants are gonna be calling any moment now. Oh, I guess they didn't. Nobody called, that's wonderful. Okay, give them a basic toilet roll, toilet brush, concrete. I need to put concrete floors down, even though there are already concrete floors down. How about this? We will put down this. Oh, that is a concrete floor. I thought this was concrete floor. It is concrete, but it doesn't count towards the thing, so we're just gonna use this concrete floor. Bedroom number one will be the back one, and I will put down some hardwood floor. They don't really care about the floor, they care about the walls, and she wants red walls in there. Looks like a bedroom. Let's do this one. This will be the blue room. These walls will be blue. We want linoleum, so we'll just put, we'll put these down. And this one will be laminate floor with green walls. So we need to do the nice green walls. We'll do these nice green walls and they want a laminate floor. What do you want, Deborah Buck? Okay, Uncle Steve, get to work repairing the earth. You know, you were a little bit late. That earthquake happened about two days ago. Okay, this cracks here, repair that. Oh, Gloria too, you need, you need. Thank goodness that job isn't timed. 
I need to go see Gloria. Gloria, okay, I'll send my uncle in. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'll send in a pro for you. I need to go back to Lost Creek. We're back here, and we were continuing our renovation of the apartment for college students. We have to do a laminate floor. Do this for the laminate in the front room. Bed, fridge, and microwave. Okay, so I'm thinking single bed, and we'll do this one. You get cheap bed. Bed. Everybody gets the same bed. Uh, I'll get the green bed in here. Do a green bed in here. I need a red bed. I'm not giving you a red bed. You can have this salmon bed just for college students. Bedroom number one needs a desk, a laptop, and a chair. Desk, a laptop, green no chair. Blue room needs a TV and a couch. This section over here will be their entertainment section. There's our couch. We need a television. If I got them this, yeah. Do that and say they need a fancy television and a cheaper television. Get a bed, television, couch in the blue room and in the green room we need a fridge and a microwave. So the food connoisseur lives in the green room. The entertainment fanatic lives in the blue room and the diligent college student lives in the red room. This little counter in the corner. Put a microwave on that. Cheapo microwave for college student. And we need a fridge. Cheapo fridge for college student. Now we can do decor. Oh, we have to do the walls in the hallway. I forgot about that. I really want to use this horrendous paint. There we go. And I could probably change the floors. Do that grubby laminate. Yay, grubby laminate. So if the if the college students come in here with their grubby little feet, they can have their grubby little laminate and no one will notice. Okay, I'm gonna put a clock in the hallway. We're all running late. Somehow I'm <laughs> I would like to put that that gun in, in the Griffin door, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin, and I would put the gun in the Slytherin room. I'm gonna put this wall poster in the Gryffindor room. I'll do zombie muffins in here. I'm gonna put this inaccurate poster. We need to do more decor, because that's what this person wants. They want decor. So in the bathroom, I need some sort of rug, and I did a red. I'm going to put this one in there. College students probably aren't going to water plants. So we probably will want to save the money on plants. I was in vice books. Yeah, I'll put those up there. But they'll probably want DVDs, and because this is entertainment room. Entertainment room. The DVD player there. These people probably need a lamp. Giving them the cheap lamps. Okay, so I, I sort of probably might want to give them a place to put their clothing items. So I'm going to give them chests, basic chests of drawers. I mean, and I'm just saying just the basic basics. I'm not going to give them anything snazzy. I'll put a blue light in this room. And a red light in this room. And a green light in this room. I'm going to put a dartboard in this room. This person seems to be an entertained person. I could put plants in the hallway, even though they'll let them die. I could put a mirror in the hallway. I'm gonna put an alarm clock in this one's room, because they just seem like, oh, let me get up and get going. Work hard. Work hard. Okay, I'll put the work hard there. I could put dream big in the bathroom. Dream, oh, no, 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 I like this one. You are breathtaking in the bathroom. You are breathtaking. Coach rack there. We need some sort of light in the hallway. Light in the hallway, just so there's some sort of light in the hallway. It's not the best, but it's a light in the hallway. So let's put some basic blinds in the college students' rooms. You know, and I'm not really concerned about the entertainment child or the entertainment college student with the blinds because they're probably going to be up all night watching their DVDs or streaming something, but I am concerned about the one that actually wants to study. Now this one's probably going to be eating nachos. And I'm going to give the entertainment person in the back room the speakers, then they'll vibrate and annoy this one in the, f in the other room. I really don't know what this one wants to do. What does this one want to do? Maybe this one will work out. Oh, maybe this one will paint. This one will be the painter. They will paint and eat. Yes, that works. And I will give this one a little seat that they can pull out and have their model sit on. And this one over here can have a poof in case friends visit. Oh, that doesn't match. I want something to match. Stool thing there. Be brave. I'll put the be brave in the Gryffindor room. Be brave. Gryffindor. Be brave. Where did I put Dream Big? Oh, I'll put Dream Big in the Slytherin room. Dream Big. Yeah. 
because that's the only way you can get ahead. You gotta dream big and then set your plans in motion. Okay, so Ravenclaw. They should have been the Ravenclaw. Never give up. Never give up. Uh, maybe I'll put plants in the Ravenclaw room. Yeah, I'll put some plants in the Ravenclaw room. And we'll put a rubber plant in. <laughs> I really should put the Uzi. I'm gonna put the Uzi in this room. Just because I want to. And a cactus. Spiky room with guns, paintings, food, and you don't get anything. Uh, you should get a floor plan. Okay, I'll just give them a fern. So is there something that you want to see when I'm doing these remodelings? Do you like the commentary? Could you leave a comment and tell me if, if there's something you want me to focus on or if you just like my chatter? Because I don't know if my chatter is distracting to you or if that's why you watch. Yeah, leave a comment. Give me some ideas about what you might be interested in. And I'll try to incorporate them if I can remember because my brain, my brain's full of holes. Okay, so I got us a doormat. This person has a hardwood floor. This is the Gryffindor room, so we gotta stay red and gold. Checker. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that one. That one was in the bathroom. What was the front? What was the blue room? Linoleum. I should probably put something down on the floor in that room. I don't want to do blue because it'll just blend in. I could probably do this. Oh yeah, because that's just not visually jarring. Or maybe they had a sale. Three for. See, we went. We went to wherever we went when we were buying our furnishings, and we just we just got a four for whatever price deal on our rugs. Uh, I'm not putting the cheap calendar. Okay, what do you want? What do you want, Deborah? Hey, it would be a kind for me to paint the walls, give this place a fresh look. I mean, I just remodeled that place. What do you want? Or some new floor panels. Why not choose the design? I'll cover the cost. What's this? Yeah. This. Did I get all the walls? Because, as I said, you know, when I play The Sims, I, f I forget the walls you cannot see. If I put this up, they're going to complain. They're going to say, you put a cheap calendar up. No, no, no. I have $150 left. Okay, that's great. Wonderful. I'm so happy that you're happy, Deborah. Pay your rent. Do I have to do I have to check on you people? No, you're all right. I need to put some sort of lamp in the hallway. Oh, I have a lamp in the hallway. Right over the electrical box. I'm fine with the way this looks. Oh, 70%. I need to throw some more. I have $150, so let me... 70% furnishing in here. I'm gonna put something in this room. Okay, so we got history books. Put some wise advice books on the floor. 76%. Probably vain. All right, so we have forty dollars left, and this is the room that really needs extra things in it. I put an octopus poster. Is that an octopus? What is that? Yes, I could put an octopus poster. I'll put it over the bed. They can, they can tie or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I have fifteen dollars left. Do I have any fifteen-dollar decors? I don't think I have fifteen-dollar decors. So I'm pretty okay with delivering this. All right, let's see what this person has to say. Looking at the 4-4 whatever sale rugs. Not liking the rugs. Probably going to fix it on the rug in there too. Oh, shower. Think of the shower. Likes the shower. Okay, blue room. Not liking the blinds. And overall design of the hallway. Likes the hallway. And is leaving us a review. All right, let's see what they have to say. It might not show at first glance, but Smitty actually knows how to renovate. It's okay. Okay, we didn't get any bonus. First impression was a three. Decor was five stars, which is what they wanted. We got five stars on the walls, five stars on the floors. Oh, I didn't see that they wanted a fan. Preferred item not found, fan. I didn't see the fan. Cheap furniture used. The CT CRT TV was cheap, so they didn't like that. They didn't like the salmon futon, the desk, the forest chair, tears futon. You know what? You said, I don't really care about the furnishings. It's for college students. You don't want to put your best stuff in there for college students because college students tend to trash things. I know I was a college student at one point. Not really happy with that. What else we got? Bank. The bank collected our money. 
All right, we're down our cash flow this episode. I think I'm going to stop our episode here. We've reached all of Smitty's goals of renovating his first property and getting a tenant in there. And he was able to get a few jobs done as well. Thanks so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.